Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to add a Windows machine as a self hosted agent inside Azure DevOps pipeline. Right. Before we add the virtual machine or any system behind Azure DevOps inside as an agent inside Azure DevOps pipeline, you need to make sure that system has uh, the necessary tools or software installed for performing any jobs which is submitted by the Azure DevOps pipeline. Right. So, for example, if you're building a .NET application, right, your uh, your agent should have uh, firstly git installed so that it can basically get a clone of the uh, git repository or a, a azure repo then secondly it should have ms build or vs build installed so that it can do the build of dotnet job right and finally the agent which basically adds the windows system all right as a self hosted agent inside the azure devops pipeline now for purpose of this lab i already created a windows machine all right and i'm logged in inside this windows machine and inside this windows machine i have installed uh, git so if i do git hyphen hyphen version i have git installed and i also have visual studio uh, 2022 community version installed with the uh, necessary libraries so since we are uh, building a dotnet application all right so it should have dotnet libraries installed Okay, so while installing Visual Studio, you can just simply uh, select uh, ASP.NET so that it has all the necessary libraries installed for ASP.NET build application. Right, so I have done these things already. Now I need to add this machine as a self hosted agent. So for doing that, uh, on this machine, I am logged in inside the uh, Azure DevOps organization. I'll go to the project and then I'll go to the project settings. And under project settings, I have something known as agent pools. And I'll add this machine inside default agent pool. So I'll click on this. And I'll say add new agent. So when I click on add new agent, it will ask me like which operating system are you adding as an agent? So it is Windows, Linux or Mac OS. So I'll say it is Windows. And I'll download the agent software. So I need to click on this. It will download a software or a application. Okay. So I'll click on this and now I need to basically extract all these files I'll extract it in downloads, fold downloads folder itself. Now it will take some time to basically extract these files. Let me pause the video here. Okay. So we are back. Uh, the files are extracted on the VM. Okay. Now I need to basically run certain commands, certain PowerShell commands. So I'll go to the PowerShell. And from PowerShell, I'll quickly switch directory to downloads folder. And over here, I just need to run this file, which is config.cmd. And this will ask me a series of questions. So it is asking me server URL. Okay, so my server URL is nothing but my DevOps organization URL. So I'll paste it over here. Second, it is asking me like authentication type. So I would be using personal authentication token for uh, authorizing this agent to basically communicate with Azure DevOps pipeline. So I'll enter over here. Next, it is asking me the token itself. So I can get the token by clicking on this icon and clicking on personal access token. And then saying uh, add a new token. And I'm creating this token for Windows agents, I'll call it as in this way, and I'll give it a full access. Okay, and I'll copy this token and paste it over here. Now it is trying to communicate with Azure DevOps. Now it is asking me agent pool name. So agent pool name is uh, default, so I'll just say enter. And the agent name would be WinAgent. That is nothing but the host name of the machine. Default folder is this. Uh, okay, so I'll say enter run agent as a service. I'll say yes, run it as a service. Rest of the thing, I'll take the default values. And this is basically disinstall the agent. Right, software which added adds this machine as a 
self-hosted agent on my Azure DevOps project. Now, finally, I can run the agent by running run.cmd, right? So now it will listen to the jobs, right? So just to verify if this agent is added or not, I can again go to my project and under project settings, I can go to agent pool and under agent pool, I'll go to default agent pool and over here, I'll click on agents and it is online, which means it can listen to my jobs now. Now let's quickly run a job, okay, on this self-hosted agent. So I'll click on pipeline. So I've already created a pipeline over here for a dotted application. I'll click on this. And I'll say edit. Instead of running on the Microsoft hosted agent, I'll mention the agent pool name. So agent pool name is default. And my agent name is win agent. I'll save this thing. Click on save and finally I'll say run. So this will basically run this job okay, on Does it have the permission or not? So I'll say a permit. So I guess that's the I missed. So now what this will do is this will run our job right on the self-hosted agent. Mm -hmm. Let's wait for it to happen. Build is happening already. It's when I made the changes, this initialize. So this all tools are getting installed on the self-hosted agents. Right. So here we will see the logs as well happening anytime now. So it is building my application as well as it is doing the test job as well. It happened on the agent which we have installed. Ideally, we should be seeing logs over here as well. Okay, it didn't show me the logs, but it does say that the job was completed, which was running. Okay, now the second job which we ran manually, right? That's also happening, that's also getting executed, and you will see over here again the second job or the second run which we did is happening on the self-hosted agent again or yeah self, uh, happening on the self-hosted agent again so this is how you uh, basically add a windows machine to a as a self-hosted agent inside of your pipeline and you define it as a uh, inside the yml file as well now you can do the same thing for uh, linux machine or else mac machine and it also supports docker containers right so this is it for this lab. Thank you for watching.